Hi everyone! Today I will show you how to create clipping mask in Canva. As usual, start by creating your design. Click on it. I will be using my normal custom measurements 4000 by 4000. Now first, let's rename our file. Go to the elements tab, okay, and then type in frames. From here, there will be lots of options for you to choose from. Choose something that you like. Okay, for example, let's just choose something. Okay, let me just scroll up. Okay, so let's start simple. We will do with a circle mask. Now we need something uh, like a photo maybe. So let's just say a background picture. Let's choose something from here. Okay, we see something colorful. Let's use this. Okay, so now it's uh, laid on top of that mask that we actually put before. So it's so there are two elements down there. So now we need to put this background inside the mask. So you just move it around and uh, see you can see that it snaps into place yes this is exactly what you want so if you want to move it a little bit or you, you want uh, more of the other color than the, the one before you can just move it or double click on it and just move it around so once you're okay with it there you have it you have a circle clipping mask ready let's try another one go to elements tab now let's choose this yeah so this is quite nice, so uh, you can actually not play around with it. So let me just enlarge this a little bit. I think from here you can choose up to about 3 images to do a clipping mask. Okay, let's choose the one we did before. Put it. Okay, so I want to enlarge it. Okay, so now it became a background image I don't want it let me just undo that okay so as we did earlier we're just going to move it around so it's going to snap on to one of the masks and uh, see now we have one image let's choose another one and put it around and another one okay like this okay so now we have our very own background image it's looking clicking sort of thing. Okay, let's try maybe another one. You add a page. Okay, now let's try going to the elements tab, scroll down. Okay, you can do a phone. Okay, maybe you do a phone. Others, this frame, yeah. Okay, from here you can customize your phone. There are so many color options. Just click on any one of them, change the colors as for your liking. Yeah, or we can just go and use our favorite background image we were using earlier. Go to photos and yeah, choose that. Just move it around and it snaps right in place. So it's very simple to use Canva to do uh, masks. So try uh, try and uh, see what, what you need. Okay, let's try one last one. Maybe let's choose letter this time. There are letter frames. Or maybe we do a donut. Oh, this is very, very cool. Okay, let's do a donut. It looks, it will look super cool. Yeah, it looks very, very nice. Uh, it's, it's like so simple. You can just play around with it and come up with your very own designs. Okay, I want to try one of the letter frames. Do I see? Oh, there is the slice slice effect. Okay, uh, remember I uh, if you have been following me, then you will know that I have done uh, how to create a slice effect in Canva also in my previous video. But this one is simpler. Maybe you just can use that frame and uh, put the picture and it slice it up right there for you. It's so simple. Okay, now let's get to our letter. Yes, there are so many. All the alphabets are there. Choose something. Maybe I'll choose an S. Okay, now let's choose a picture. 
Okay, let's choose this one. Okay, right. Just move it around and it snaps right into place. See, so simple. So now you can have your very own letter frames, letter. You see, you can use this gradient. You can use gradient backgrounds, gradient pictures. There are so many, so many options that you can choose from. You can choose your own pictures and make the mask. You don't have to just stick to Canva images. You can choose your own, upload your own, play around with it. It's fun. Yeah, there are so many. But how do you know what to find? You can just click on the, the three dots and see what you need to. We can search and see there is a letter P frame. So if you cho choose letter P frame, you'll be able to see. Uh, in my next video, I'll show you how to create clipping mask in Adobe Illustrator. So stay tuned. Bye bye.